guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a vlog for you. I wanted it to be like a gardening vlog, like a garden tour vlog because our garden needs a lot of weeding and I didn't want to show it to you as it is because the weeds are just out of control and I haven't had time to do them all. We have quite a few garden beds. So, excuse the weeds. Oh, it's like half past nine. Um, I think it's going to rain later today. So I wanted to do as much as I could this morning. As usual, Penny's toys are literally everywhere. She's just like, I packed them away and she just gets them out. I actually packed them away the other day. Hey. <laughs> and I took them off of her. So I might do that today. Just leave her with one. Hey, you can have your tongue and that's it. That's it. No chicky. This is what's left of her chicky now. That's it. You can have your rings as well. Take your woofies and everything away from you because you don't need that many toys. A Dalmatian does not need that many toys. Come on. I love it how she thinks that like I'm gonna play with her, with them. But like, no, hun. That's where they're going, hun. Sorry. You got, see, you got your tongue. You love your tongue. She just loves like tug of war. That's what her favorite thing is. Look how big she's getting. Can you stop growing, Missy? I'm going to show you a little bit around the yard. Now it is trashed. So yeah, excuse the wind. Okay, so out here we have this little patio area. Um, we usually have cushions on the couches. One day I came out and this ficus this ficus was knocked over and the pot was smashed and the chair was like all on an angle if i have the photo i'll insert it i don't know what she did i think she might might have tried to jump on there and then got her legs stuck in one of them like in the holes and then somehow pushed over that so i bought a new pot this one's just from Kmart and that one's actually in not too bad of a condition. You can see all the paints come off of it. It was just a $20 one. So I bought like a nice one from Bunnings and then eventually I'll replace that one. But yeah, I need to repot that and these are not doing so well. So I really need to, oh, it's got some new growth. I really need to put some, you know, fertilizer and stuff in it. Over here we have two little pots. This one's okay, I just need to trim it back a bit, but this had a rose that just did not make it like at all. So I need to take that out, but then it will probably ruin the petunias and see the weed in it. <laughs> Here I bought a new little um, pot here because I had a Kmart one and it had all flaked off and I've just got some petunias in there and I also put some new petunias in this pot. This one's from Kmart and this one's actually lasted pretty well considering it's been outside. Here I've got a rose and some weeds <laughs> and petunias. This rose needs some fertilizer really bad. I'm not sure if you saw Alpatostrums. We planted them two years ago and now they're doing really well. Um, the rain did kind of push them over like we need to fix that one up but they're doing they've grown so much this is some type of salvia down here and I don't know the type if I have the little card I'll show you it uh, but it doesn't actually die down like a lot of salvias um, it stays like a bush the whole year which is really great most salvias die down weed <laughs> Look at this crazy dog. Um, we actually borrowed some stuff, <laughs> some fencing, <laughs> so don't mind that. Um, we did have four camellias along here. Um, you'll see why we have the fencing, because there was a camellia here and someone ate it. Yep. So there was one like this size down the end. Oh, and there was also one here and it's gone. So yeah, she ate. She ate two of them, so hence the fencing. She's a psycho, look at her. This is what she does, she just does laps with her favorite toy. Okay, so this is down the side of our house. I'm not sure if I showed you this last year in a vlog. We just put in these two foot roses last year and they have gone nuts this year. Um, we have some hydrangeas here. 
there was one on the end but it died um, but they're doing really well this one has just grown overnight I think um, but we need to weed all of this garden bed and then this one looks like it needs to be put back on the stake. It's been pretty windy here as well, but we've got hydrangeas on the ends. And then if you can see the azaleas underneath them, they're really pretty. I don't think, oh, some of the roses are just starting to come out. Um, here's one here, but like just not yet. Just, I reckon, a few more days. There's heaps of buds on them. A few more days and maybe a week and they'll be everywhere. Um, and then these ones here as well, the rain and wind just like, yeah, mess them up. Uh, but yeah, again, hydrangeas on the end and azaleas in the middle and little Miss Penny decided to dig in here and I think she ripped up one two and a half azaleas so that's cool these are our <laughs> excess plants um i thought this peony rose died but it has come back i don't know if we'll get any flowers on it it was a yellow one last year and these roses this one's dead and yeah uh this is the driveway we have down here we need to concrete this but this is why we've blocked it off for penny because it's just wet and then she gets wet and then the inside of the house gets wet um but this was the pot that i had on the table outside that has the petunia in it um but it used to be white and then we've got two what are these called and then we have some carnations that i pulled out but that i just wanted to see if they'd survive but they haven't they're pretty much dead so yeah this down the side of the house i did trim these back but they've just literally gone out of control so i may need to take some more off because they are just so big uh, this is the garden bed at the back of the house it is out of control oh coco you've decided to come out look at this look at this dog and this cat oh my god anyway this is out of control it gets pretty much full sun so a lot of this there has been some stuff that has not made it but the stuff that's here that's done well does really too well um so i'll start over here okay so i'll start down this end uh i have lavender i have four throughout the garden bed uh, and then I have some salvia this is purple salvia and then this one here is a foxglove there is a delphinium in there which probably needs a stake attached to it because of the wind uh, this here is called lamb's ear and it has just honestly like when we got it it was so small and it's just taken off and um, this is another salvia here um, but again, it's fallen down because of the wind. Then we have some petunias here. These are like double petunias, I think. And then I can't remember the name of this, but it didn't flower last year. And this year it has. And then we've got another big bush of lavender. And then we have a weed. <laughs> and then this is pink salvia. I don't know the name of it, sorry. Um, and then we have some catmint here. This is beautiful, like absolutely stunning. Um, I would definitely recommend getting it. Um, it does die off in winter, but then it comes back beautifully. We did have a camellia on this stake. It didn't survive, which is really annoying because it was like 70 bucks, but we just probably didn't water it enough. And then we have another purple salvia, another lavender, and then some more of these little plants here, these little flowers. And that, I think that's snapdragon but i don't recall ever putting that color in here and that far back i thought i put snapdragons like at the front kind of thing but who knows really sorry about the wind uh then we have a delphinium just here which is just baby it's just growing and then some more salvia some petunias this delphinium has really taken off it's a beautiful color as well and then lamb's ear salvia there's another foxglove in there and then we have the lavender. Oh, I have these also, which are called candy tufts. Candy tuft? Candy tuft, I think it's called. Um, but just little white flowers. Then another salvia, 
and then we have over here a fox glove and then we have a little peony now I thought that this died I don't think it's gonna do anything this year but it is still there and then here this was a petunia and I was hoping that it, well, it might come back it might actually come back but um Penny pretty much chewed this to bits when the fencing was along here because she could stick her head through like this and eat it. And this is the rest of our yard. So we just got our shed put in a few months ago. We have these potostriums along this side, which we put in after the other one so they're not as big. But yeah, we'll have some garden beds and maybe a veggie patch around that side of the shed. And I want to put a greenhouse in behind the shed because there's a four meter easement and we've got that little garden shed there. So yeah, that's the rest of the yard. We are on half an acre. This is all dug up now because Dean's putting in services to the shed. And then we've got to just level the yard again and put down grass as well. So that pile of dirt was actually from the scraping of the shed slab. This is just all of the back out, obviously. Okay, so to the side of the house, we have this garden bed here. Now we have these ornamental pears. They're the capital kind. And then we have two David Austin roses in between each tree. So I don't even know if I'll be able to get to the tags. They're like right down the bottom. This one over here is like a peachy kind of color. It smells beautiful. And then we've got this red one. I didn't mean to get a red one, but I didn't know what color it was going to be. Um, but over here, this is a hollyhock here. And we've just got some spare um, box hedges because we are going to put them in. And I did have some salvia and there was petunias, but obviously this needs to be we did uh, and then here we have this beautiful white or cream colored David Austin and then this one is my favorite oh it's so beautiful and it smells divine um, this one is called Gertrude Jekyll I think it's called that one is absolutely stunning um, and then these two are the same they're kind of like a creamy cut color they're really pretty so the weather's kind of ruined them a little bit but yeah um, and then this is the part that I've weeded and planted some stuff but um, I put the catmint in a year ago or more than a year ago and then I put in this little plant a while ago and then that's a peony that's come back which is cool and I put in a Dalmatian foxglove the other day and then that's a bit of catmint that actually started growing from that so I just planted it there. This is a pink Samantha which we've got over the other side but I'll show you. And then that's like a, a pink kind of daisy and then this is a double white daisy and then I put in some lavender as well. But I do want to put in some more delphinium and foxgloves just to give some different levels in this garden bed. But as you can see, like I weeded this part, but just not the other part. <laughs> okay, so this is the front of the house. We have six white standard roses. They're four foot and uh, they are just like the main feature of the house you know landscaping that's what I pictured uh, we do have box hedges at the front but they're just not doing that well we really need to finish off this by putting in the rest of the edging and mulch and we just have not done that and um, we realized that we should have put in some kind of drainage along here because you can see how damp the soil is so i don't know you learn these things afterwards <laughs> we've weeded that bit but then not the rest of the garden beds but yeah i do want to point out that some of these roses actually snapped off so i think we had three that snapped off so this is a new one and this is a new one and i think this one I think that this one here might be a new one as well just because of the location that they are um and we put in thicker stakes and then Dean only had them wrapped around with this stocking stuff like once and after this one on the end actually bent over I wrapped it around a couple of times and then he did the rest like that because it's just such a pain in the ass to have roses snap especially when they're 
established. Like I think they were a year, just over a year old. Um, or a year and a half old. Okay, so I had to go get Penny because she was being annoying. Um, but over here we have some hollyhock. Just right there. And then we have two little flocks. Um, which is P-H-L-O-X. And then we have, what is that plant called? It's not jasmine. It's called Daphne. That's what it's called. Um, well, we have three up the back. There used to be more, but we had to dig the other ones up to put in the sprinkler system just up the back there. Um, and then this is where all of my tulips were. They looked so good when they came up, but now I have to wait for the foliage to die before I can take the bulbs up. Um, and then we have some foxgloves, and then that one there is a delphinium, and there's another foxglove coming up there. I put a daisy bush in there the other week. And then these ones in the front, these are little carnations, and then these ones are a type of carnation, but they're called coconut sundae. Um, but we got heaps of those up the front, and then more carnations down the end. And then we've got such a mix in here. There's a little salvia in there, and then I forget what that, there's three of those plants and they've got like purple flowers on them. I think it starts with H, but I can't remember the name of them. And then we've got these two. Oh, I forget the name of these, but they have them at most nurseries. It starts with O. It's a weird name. Um, and then the tree that we decided to put in was a maple tree. The other day I put in a hydrangea. It's called a chicken and hen hydrangea, so we'll see. And then that's another delphinium, and I forget the name of this one. But then we've got a foxglove, which is going really, really well. And then a delphinium next to it, and then there's more delphinium as well. Some delphinium just didn't take off last year when I put it in, and it's taking off now, and apparently they only last like three to five years. So I'm putting in some more this year. Um, and then we have four standard roses. These are David Austin Heritage, I think that they're called. They need bigger stakes, which is on Dean's to-do list to um, get bigger stakes for them and tie them up because some of them, that one on the end actually blew over away from its stake. Thank God it didn't snap. This garden bed, I kind of like rejigged up. So it had salvia and some of them died. Some of them didn't make it back after winter. Um, which is disappointing so you can see the salvia is like this 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 I did have them like like zigzagging in between and different types but I decided that I just want a bit of like a garden like a cottage garden with a, a mix of different things so I put in a foxglove there and a foxglove there and a lavender here and um, I've got a petunia up there I had that that's growing back from last year and then there's another petunia here which is just about to grow back I think that's a snapdragon um, there was another snapdragon but it didn't come back so um, but yeah I'll just put in some more stuff along here depending on which salvia comes back I think that's kind of all that's going to come back at this stage but yeah, I just wanted, it's going to take a while, a few years, for everything to grow into what it's meant to be. So it's going to look a little bit bare. Now we do have plans to put in a, an edge along here and then put in mulch for the rest of the garden bed, which will make everything grow a bit better. But it's just, you know, time and money. So, oh, and there is a peony that I thought died and it's come back. <laughs> so they're a little surprised, those ones. But anyway. Oh, we did do weeding in here, but it needs to be done again. And also weeding through there as well. And then we've got three of these little plants here. They come out with little white flowers, um, but they've come back. They do die down into nothing in winter and um, then come back into this beautiful green little shrub, which is really cute. Penny, who's that? Dad's home with your food. I've got some Oh, look at her. She's so excited. All right, you want some food? You want some brekkie? Um, so I have some plants here which I need to plant. I've got some petunias, some more delphinium, um, some foxgloves, and I got these little ones. I forget what they're called. Penstemon. 
um, but I got them to put in the spaces in the garden beds as well so I want to do that today and this is the pot that I got from Bunnings so it's just like a nice big white pot it's got like a little bit of a fleck in it um, but this one won't crack or fade like the Kmart ones so I'll put the ficus in that today as well. I've just been up the back garden bed because I need to put some more foxgloves and delphinium in there and I found some little surprises so I want to show you what I found and I was just gardening in here and I found a little delphinium over here that just didn't take off and then there's one over here and then this is the catmint and I actually found two little baby catmints so that saves me from buying you know spending ten twelve dollars on more catmint when I've already got two, two little ones here so I might let this one take off a little bit and I could even move this one here um, but I love finding stuff like that and then yeah these delphiniums as well so I might just put a few foxgloves up the back here another foxglove in there because Penny used to dig in there um, so yeah it's not the best and then we need some more mulch in here as well um, but I haven't finished completely weeding but I was very pleasantly surprised by my little babies <laughs> hey guys it is in the afternoon now I'm just in the garage the day turned so windy, but I want to show you what we've done. Uh, but we did manage to get a bit done, so I want to show you the finished look. And I do apologize about the wind. Um, if it's so bad, I'll just do a voiceover. Okay, so here is this garden bed. I put some petunias in here. We still need to plant those. And then this is all weeded. And of course, put in and put in some more petunias along here. And then this area hasn't really much changed, but some foxgloves up there and delphinium. And then I put in some delphinium here, just little plants. Nothing much has changed along here. Um, nothing that's that noticeable anyway. I did put in some plants that I had like delphinium foxgloves and some other little plants as well. I forget what they're called, but these ones though. So I replaced this pot um, and I need to throw out the old pot but yeah and I need to put a new stake in but it looks so much better than the small pot so I'll get another one of those eventually. So here is the back garden bed. I just did some weeding and I put in a little fox glove there. Oh I forgot I need to water this and then um, I cleared up this. I definitely need to water this. So there is our garden tour. Thank you.